this um, new executive order that Biden signed, a uh, new quote unquote, uh, it can't, it was signed on September 12th. Um, but it has an extremely complicated name like they always do. And a lot of wording, a lot of word salad, um, throw some tomatoes on there. Uh, but a lot of word salad, uh, going on. And so I kind of took some time to kind of dig into it. I'm not going to get extremely deep into it. Um, I'm not somebody who proclaims to know a lot about this stuff. And there's actually some stuff that we can't talk about because YouTube, <laughs> don't kick me off YouTube. Um, I've already got a warning. I don't need an, another strike. Um, so there's some stuff that I can't talk about as far as that goes, but we'll just give you kind of a, a rundown of what this thing is and what it does. Um, so right now, when it comes to rewire, rewiring a human, we're living in the time where transhumanism is becoming reality. And this is biblical in many different ways. I'll talk about one way it is a little later. Uh, people like the WEFs, uh, Noah Yuval Harari, uh, his name seems to... He, he's always been kind of in the background for the past six, seven years as far as the WEF goes, but I would say the past year, two years, uh, his name has really made a forefront as far as... The conspiracy theory, people. The conspiracy theory. Um, did you know the CIA actually made that term to uh, stop people from questioning the assassination of JFK? Just thought that was interesting. We've talked about that before. Um, just thought I'd throw that in there. But Harari here from the WEF has been making waves in the prophecy sphere uh, for his talks on biohacking, uh, the normies being worthless, that would be me and you, the peasants, and talking about how this generation is going to be the last fully human generation. This will be the last generation of humans. That's some uh, quite biblical talk there, Mr. Harari, uh, for being such an atheist that you are. When it comes to rewiring a human, there's more to it than just the physical. Um, rewiring also includes reprogramming the way of thinking, our actual beliefs, and even the spirit inside of us. Uh, I don't think that gets a lot of talk as far as the transhumanism goes, but that's definitely a part of um, going beyond uh, human like they're wanting to do. Now, we'll get to the mind and belief and spirit stuff uh a little bit later, but first we are going to talk about the recent executive order signed by Mr. Biden. Uh, executive order, here we go with the names. Um, if you got a notepad, you might want to bust this out and take some notes because it's that long of a name. Executive order called Advancing Biotechnology and Biomanufacturing Innovation for a Sustainable, Safe, and Secure American Bioeconomy. Oh. Should, should I say it again? I know it takes about five minutes. Uh, Advancing Biotechnology and Biomanufacturing Innovation for a Sustainable, sustainable Safe, and Secure American Bioeconomy. My word. Uh, like I said, that was signed on September 12th. The name alone, um, if you look at it, tells us, tells us, you know, the Prophecy Watchers, exactly what we really need to know just by some of the key words. One being biotech uh, and biomanufacturing, and the other one being bioeconomy. Uh, those should jump out as Prophecy Watchers. They're talking about rewriting your human DNA and creating and maintaining an economy out of it. They're talking about the mark of the beast. Uh, corrupt the human and buy and sell. That's what the mark of the beast does. It makes you not human and it makes you be able to partake in the one world economy. And so when you look at that, you're talking about biotech, biomanufacturing. That's corrupt on us and a bio economy. That's your buy and sell. So let's dive a little bit deeper into this uh, just to get a better idea, not just from trying to create something out of a couple words. So straight from the executive order, it says, we need to develop genetic engineering technologies and techniques to be able to write circuitry for cells and predictably program biology in the same way in which we write software and program computers, including through uh, computing tools 
and artificial intelligence. AI, everybody's favorite word. That's demonic intelligence right there, I'm telling you guys. Now, Harari has spoken directly about this in many forums as far back as 2016. I've covered a couple of those a while ago. I really haven't talked about uh, AI in a long time, and I haven't talked about this stuff in a long time. Uh, but if you go way back, um, I talk about some of that stuff. Uh, now, it's about hi biohacking and being able to program you. It's about basically removing the human in you. They want to make us computers because they don't want humans that can think for themselves, move on their own, do their own thing, have free will. Uh, they don't want that. They want to make you a computer so they can program you to do exactly what they want. They want to make you a machine. It's kind of like kind of what they're doing now. They're replacing everybody's jobs with machines and then they want to make us machines. So I don't know if that's just going to be one giant circle where they're going to replace the jobs with machines and then make people machines and then replace the machines with us. As... Anyways. Stop it. Get some help. That's That's a way down the rabbit hole didn't mean to go there um but basically they're trying to make us computers walking talking computers without free will they want us to just play along with their game it's like the matrix uh this goes back to the days of noah biblically when satan was corrupting the human bloodline through the nephilim so this is one of those things um i don't think I'm, I'm sure many people do, but there's a lot of people that really don't understand, you know, when God w uh, did the flood back in the days of Noah time, everybody tends to think, oh, there was just so much sin that God had to just wipe it out. And that was his judgment type of thing. Yeah, there was a lot of sin and he wanted and that needed to be kind of reset. And that's a terrible word to use on that, but that's all I got. Um, but the thing is, is it was it was actually because the human bloodline was getting so corrupt that Christ's sacrifice wasn't going to work because well, you you need to be human for that to work. That's how it goes. We'll talk about that in a second. So that's why Jesus needed to be 100% man and 100% God because it allows his sacrifice to work. Uh, if you're not 100% human, you can't be saved. So when you're talking about the mark of the beast and you're talking about if you take the mark of the, uh, the Bible talks about you take the mark of the beast you know, you, that's it. You can't be saved. It's it's over at that point. That's because that thing is going to corrupt your bloodline. It will not work. So everybody talks about the buy and sell aspect of it, but that's also playing a part in the fact of you will not be able to be saved. That's why Jesus was 100% man, 100% God. He wasn't 50% man, 50% God. Don't ever allow that garbage to enter your mind. He was 100% of both. You got to get rid of the program thinking of the flesh and you'll you'll be able to grasp that concept and so that's how it works and so he during the days of noah god had to wipe it out in order to save that bloodline from getting too corrupt so this is why god had to cleanse the cancer from with the flood the corruption was spreading and it needed to be stopped one of the keys to understanding the matthew 24 regarding gate uh, days of Noah is during J Jacob's trouble the corrupting of the human bloodline is coming back that's the mark of the beast Satan never gave up on that plan he was just waiting and working on it and God already knew about it obviously and that's what we read about in Revelation that mark of the beast is much more than just a buy and sell token it is also something that will the Bible tells us that we that uh, tells us will not allow those who have it to be saved. So it's very important that we understand just how deep this Mark of the Beast thing goes, and we also understand how deep that flooding goes, and why the connection between Days of Noah then and Days of Noah now. There's other ones, obviously. I'm not going to get into all of that, but that's one of them. And so it's important that we remember that. That thing will take away your 100% human and block the chance from being saved. So don't take the thing. If you're watching this in the, in the tribulation, if it's there, don't take it. Don't take it. Yeah, and not this world. And why Enoch was raptured prior, he was also pure. Exactly. That's why Noah's family was spared. They were pure. Enoch was raptured. He was pure as well. So very important to understand that. Thank you for throwing that in there. Um, Satan has not given up on this plan. It will just be version 2.0. No, 
That was a terrible joke. Just roll with me. It's going to be 2.0 coming a little bit later in, in the uh, in the end times there, in, the, in Jacob's trouble. So it's very important that we understand that. Now, this executive order is about removing personal choice, God-given rights, and forcing a digital transhuman change onto America. This actually began a while ago, but the biggest push is... I really have to be careful about talking about some of this stuff on YouTube, so just try and follow along here. Um, the biggest push, as far as this stuff goes, is the CRISPR-Cas9 found, in, uh, which was discovered in 2012, but was recently prescribed via the vitamins. Um, if you're new, you'll start to catch on what vitamins and, and stuff means. Um, just kind of kind of roll with me here. So the CRISPR-Cas9 was also a part of the new prescribed vitamins. This is part of the biohacking bonanza that we're seeing now. This, this executive order is pushing this further. It's also pushing this further by pumping $2 billion into, large, into the large scale DNA game changers. Uh, it's about pumping as much money into feeding these um, transhuman programming DNA things. Just, I really can't say much more. Um, other aspects in this are smaller scale, like daily pills or biometric data gathering wearable devices so they're talking about uh also being able to do this through actual medication that you take daily uh then there's also of course we know the biometric data like gathering stuff you know like your fitbit your cell phone all this stuff um everything that's where the internet of things comes into play um, i'm not going to describe what that is if you go on my channel wretched recommends playlist there's a video called um at the internet of things I explain exactly what that is so if you don't know what that is check that video out um, but these other aspects also play into the internet of things where I, um, part of that is like everybody wants to talk about how like something as simple as like a smart fridge here we go just mad scientist here but the smart fridge it's not about getting your fridge smart enough to keep your milk cold that's, that's not what it is. These smart things, everything's smart. Your smart TV, your smart phone, your smart fridge, your smart appliance, even your smart little uh, auto vacuuming robot and stuff. All of that stuff is there to gather data on us. And so even something like that, that you wouldn't think is big, is actually gathering your biometric data and they're putting it in your profile. That's how they're keeping track of all this stuff, even when you're in your own house. These things track every detail of you so they can create a digital you to help develop the best and easiest gene editing tool possible. They need to know everything about you to make the smoothest transition possible. No, don't like that.